toes till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tara Gay Nicole. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks so, com thanks so much for coming back. We do planner related videos, budgeting videos, Etsy new releases, Poshmark, challenges, air fryer cooking. We do a lot on here, but it's mostly about budgeting and planning. So, and we just added a little bit of weight loss updates. So here we are today to do our paycheck to paycheck budget using the budget queen sheet. It's from 726 to, it should say eight, to eight, nine. Whoopsie. <clears throat> And the Budget Queen will be linked down in the description bar, her Etsy shop. If you want to check out her shop to get these forms, she has this and many more. And they are very um, affordable. So let's just get right into this because I don't want this to be a long video. I'll pull you guys in. And I think I'm going to write with my hot pink pen today. So my income is, income, this is um, July number two check. position you guys so I'm not bumping into you and then that is 1362.66 and then we're going to put that we have ro we're not going to put rollover because we're not going to roll over any money and we're going to put online income and then we're going to put miscellaneous we're not going to budget anything for those though and then I'll leave this one blank for anything else that may just happen, which is great. Um, now, for the bills portion, we always have to put away for rent because I split my rent, not always down the middle, but the way it works for each check. So for this time, rent, I still feel like y'all can't see. For this time, rent is going to be $650, take it, put aside. And this is for the August rent. So this is technically due 8 1 or really 8 7. I think they give us seven days. And then the next thing due, let me look at my little sheet here. We have to pay on the first, the gym will be coming out. And that's linked to my credit card, but I pay it right off when I get it. So $32.99. <laughs> And then we have my cell phone. And that's usually due on around the 5th. This pen makes my handwriting look weird. And it's usually $73.78. Then we have the gas electric bill due. And that's usually due on the 9th. That fluctuates sometimes, but somewhere around there. And that's set at $34.00 currently and then we don't have anything else except for the car insurance which is due on you guys y'all let me write this in wrong <laughs> actually no those are well is that right the gym is doing eight one then the eight five eight, oh yeah so most of these are for august bills um but it goes all the way to the ninth so we have to pay it but this car insurance is actually for 7.30. I'm like, was I doing that wrong the whole time? 7.30 and that's car insurance and we'll budget 109.28. Although, I don't know if it's this month or the following month that this is going up. Um, it goes up and they did let me know it was going to go up because after your first six months you lose that like first time Thing, and then it goes up a little so I think it's going up to like 120 something um and then we have my we're gonna that's all we have for bills in this category then we go to my savings challenge and we're not gonna fill that out yet because we don't know what we have and then we have my savings which I know for my regular savings account we're going to budget $50. This is automatically set up to come out. And then my sinking funds, which is at zero right now. That Zang car. But we'll talk about that. <laughs> sinking funds, we get $103 every two weeks. So that should come out. 
Now, expenses, I'll have to think about that. I don't know of any right now. And then cash envelope. So we're going to have our normal cash envelope categories coming out, which is groceries. And that's usually budgeted $70. Gas, $60. Laundry, $15. Toiletries. Oh my god. Ten nope twenty dollars. Self care. Twenty dollars. Giving. Twenty dollars. And then allowance, which is like a virtual cash envelope. Is it's a it's made up now of my um it has its own checking account right now. But I'm thinking of doing $30 cash, $30 checking. I'm just trying things until something works, you guys. So that's what I'm thinking right now for this. Doing $30 out and the, into cash and then $30 left on the card. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll figure that out before Saturday. <laughs> and then, so that should be $265 for cash envelopes. And let's just start adding the rest of these together. Right now we have 1,362.66 here. And then for the bills, we have 650 plus 2399-2444-2449-2488. And that's $900.05. And then this is 153, the savings portion, 103 plus 50. So let's just add up everything we have. I can't think of any expenses I have coming up right now. So I'm just going to leave that blank and then we'll see. So we have income budgeted. I'm going to do this part in my erasable pen down here. Income, we have budgeted $1,362.66. Then we have bills at $900.05. And then we have a challenge, nothing yet. Savings, $153. And then expenses, nothing yet. And then $265 for cash envelopes. So as of now, we have 136266 minus 905 minus 153 minus 265. We only have $44 and 61 cents left. So we're not going to be doing too much. What we're going to do then is I'm just going to take out $20 for the savings challenge. So here where it says S well, it'll say S challenge, so it's S savings challenge. For the savings challenge, can y'all even see that? <laughs> Sorry. For the savings challenge, we're going to just take out 20. We'll take out 20 in cash and add that to the envelope. And then the buffer, in this case, is going to be 2461. Yeah, this should be interesting. <laughs> this this this, we, this month is kind of packed full of stuff. So that's what we have right now. We don't have any expense. I don't know how we're gonna fix the expenses have to be twenty four sixty one or else we're gonna go over unless we get money elsewhere. But I'm not really too worried about it. I don't think I have any birthdays or anything coming up, thankfully. So hopefully we'll be able to keep our twenty four sixty one buffer intact. Um, the, and then we can maybe put 20 of that to the saving challenge, but right now we have $20 in saving challenge. I have been able to do a couple of Poshmark sales without really even trying, so that was nice. So I'll be able to add that to the savings money, and I did get a YouTube check, so I'll be able to add that to the savings challenge money. So I don't know if we're going to get our 335 that's our goal for this month, but we sure will keep on trying. We've got a few more weeks 
I mean, sorry, we have like one week left in July and then we'll see. And the challenge continues into August. So maybe we'll be able to make it up there. But that's what we have for you. Oh, I didn't finish putting the stuff in. So <laughs> challenges and the buffer is 20 plus 2461, which we know already is 4461. And we're not going to put anything as expenses right now. So let's just make sure we got to zero. Like 132666, no lies. 136266 minus 905 minus 4461 minus 153 minus 265 equals zero. Perfect. So we're at a zero base budget with uh, not very much room, but I actually, I'm not feeling too stressed about it because I plan on doing, and I'll tell you guys more about it in the cash nothing envelopes, um, so a few challenges with my groceries and my allowance. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching guys. Remember in order to be great, you have to be grateful and I'm super duper grateful for you. Have a wonderful blessed day guys. Bye!